Part 1 of Medication and General Health offered tips for managing Parkinson's medications and preparing for hospitalization. Many health issues can be impacted by Parkinson's, so in this video I will go over some strategies for keeping your loved one as healthy as possible. Parkinson's symptoms tend to change slowly over time. Sudden changes may signal a medical problem such as a bladder infection or other illness. Notify your primary doctor for prompt evaluation of symptoms. Emotional stress, worry, and anxiety can also worsen PD symptoms. Soothing music, deep breathing, or other relaxation strategies may help decrease stress. People with Parkinson's have a higher chance of developing melanoma, so it is important for your loved one to have an annual skin check by their primary care doctor or by a dermatologist. Because of this increased risk, make sure the person with Parkinson's uses sunscreen and wears a hat and sunglasses when in the sun. Try to avoid the hot midday sun and seek shade when outside. As mobility becomes more challenging, your loved one might lie or sit in the same place for long periods of time. Constant pressure in one area can result in skin breakdown, so try to have your loved one change positions every two hours. Observe for redness, blisters, and open sores. Change clothing or bed linens often if sweating is a problem. Plastic coating and tapes from incontinence products can cause irritation, so avoid contact with the skin. In bed, use an egg crate or alternating pressure mattress to help prevent lesions, and use heel and elbow guards for added skin protection. Massage lotion into your loved one's skin to prevent dryness and improve circulation. If the person with Parkinson's is in a wheelchair, Get a cushion to lessen the risk of pressure sores. See an occupational or rehab therapist to ensure the right cushions are used. When bathing your loved one, make sure skin folds are washed and dried completely. Report skin changes promptly to the doctor to prevent serious problems. Complaints of pain should also be reported to the doctor for evaluation. Pain can be a symptom in Parkinson's, often caused by muscle stiffness and rigidity. Most people can safely take over the counter analgesics to help decrease pain. Warm packs may aid in providing pain control, but avoid electric heating pads, which may cause burns with prolonged use. Microwavable or air-activated heat wraps offer a safer, more sustaining heat and less chance of injury. Pain from acute injuries sustained during falls or other accidents may be better controlled with the use of ice packs to reduce pain and swelling. Massage provided by a caregiver or massage therapist can aid circulation and decrease soreness. Use cushions as needed for comfort and support. Avoid the use of too many pillows which contribute to a flexed posture. Be aware that increased wandering, agitation, or unexplained crying in those with dementia may be a signal of pain. See a physical therapist for specific pain evaluation and additional recommendation. If the person with Parkinson's has a cough or a cold and needs to take medication, make sure to read the label to ensure it is safe to take. Most neurologists encourage people with Parkinson's to avoid taking a multi-symptom medication. That is, if your loved one has a cough, she should take medication for one symptom, the cough, not cough medication plus decongestants or other ingredients. If your loved one takes an MAO inhibitor, some over-the-counter medications are not safe. Consult with the pharmacist. Could be diabetic, it can be cancer, it can be on and on and on and on. There are just many things. Parkinson's is just kind of a small bit of the picture.